Hello and welcome to my weekly bench update. We're just doing kind of a quick rundown of my current projects on the bench. I do have two on the bench again. For those that seen last week's update, I'd asked you guys to give me your choice of the 49 Merc, a 40 Ford, and a 41 Plymouth. And I think the 41 Plymouth won and was kind of my favorite of the bunch. So that's the one that got started. You can see it here. For those that know this kit or don't know this kit, this whole nose section, kind of going up this line, across the top, you can kind of see that ghost line there. And then back down is a separate piece. I don't know if AMT was planning on doing different years so they could replace that grill section or what they were doing, but it kind of creates a issue and a bugger to deal with. As you have to kind of fill this seam in, as I've started to, mostly done, but try not to disturb this other seam. As this is kind of a gasketed seam on the real car and kind of has a little bump out rib there so it's trying to avoid that but yet fill this in and then ended up with a gap on this side and it was filled in on this side so i'm not sure how to go about that whether to try to scribe this open like this side or try to close this side in without disturbing that rib or what to do or maybe even fill in both sides and somehow try to recreate my own rib coming down the front if you guys have any ideas on that please let me know in the comments uh, this back I added this little splash guard or rock pan back here the instructions say it glues to the frame but it is body color and will sit there anyway so I think it'll be okay like that Hopefully it doesn't cause me any issues. Uh, and the other thing is the hood. Doesn't really have any good mounting points. Just has a couple little tabs. It's hard for me to find center and keep it in place. So I decided to drill a hole under the hood ornament. So that I could hit this kind of latch pan here. And then I will put in a pin later after it's painted we want to get the the drilling done before paint so you can see it just not the greatest of finding its own its own home so that should remedy that situation hopefully keep that hood in place the grill or the dash just prime because that is body color as well speaking of body color here is one of the colors. I do plan on two-toning this. I'm going to go with a kind of a stock appearing, but obviously this paint isn't exactly stock color. This is Tester's Extreme Lacquer, so it's got a bit more metallic than what would be stock, but I am going with this kind of a medium gold tone and a brown. Kind of have that 40s feel. Uh, the engine... I think the originals were an argent silver. So I sprayed them with this metallic silver, which is quite a bit more reflective than I was expecting. So hopefully with a good Tamiya wash, that'll knock that down. Otherwise we'll have to try something different there. The frame, just done on a satin black. And with the frame, I did the, the radiator as well in a satin black. Rear springs just done in a flat black and mist coated some metallic color over it. Rear differential, I just went with a this kind of a red oxide color and then semi glossed it because it was the same as this flat red. You can see with the gloss coat, it gives it a little different look. So there's that on the 41 Plymouth. I think we got a little nice little start on that guy. But on to this one, which is the 34 Ford pickup for the scale build of Gentlemen. We do have some color on things. I do plan on doing, well, I guess this is just a flat black primer, as I do plan on doing a kind of a paint distressed look. I don't plan on getting real crazy rusted or beat up, but just maybe kind of wear some spots of the paint down into a red oxide primer. But I wanted to create a barrier from that bright white. So if I broke through that red oxide, it wouldn't be a white spot. So now if I see black, I have to immediately stop. 
but I think that'll work out okay. Uh, the bed popped off the stand while I was priming that, so that's getting stripped. So I can reprime that guy. Uh, the frame, I did it in a gloss black, but now after seeing it, I'm not so sure about it. I thought it'd be kind of a neat little contrast with the kind of matte paint, faded paint. But the headlights I glued on with the bare styrene to give them a little better hold and not screw up the paint. I'm trying to get those on later. They look great in the gloss black, but I'm just not sure about the the frame itself. I might tone that down later. We will see. I uh, did some matte black on the kind of rubber matte floor pan, radiator, the grill, to give that a background black. The wheels just have light gray primer on them. They are going to be that Ford kind of pale yellow color. I think is what I'm going to go with that, or the red, I'm not sure, but I think these can be yellow. The body is going to be a bluish color, dark blue. The seats did in this kind of caramel leather color. It was supposed to be a satin color, but this is quite shiny for a satin, but maybe rub these a little bit. I did prime these black first, so that if I do rub them, they'll get just a little bit of a dark color to them. And then I will tone down that gloss later. Again, some of these suspension colors kind of went with that red oxide or flat red primer. And we'll detail out some other colors. But I thought it'd be just kind of an interesting, kind of a more appropriate for the 40s era. And with that, that'll do her. Thanks for watching.